Right. But, Ms. Wanda, what was the reaction on the advisory board to the extent there was one to, to the whistleblower, to everything we learned in the Wall Street Journal, to what we learned on 60 Minutes, and ultimately as well when she appeared in front of Congress? Yeah, uh, the immediate reaction is we need to speak to Mrs. Hogan. We need to speak to, continue speaking to different stakeholders that are external to Facebook, even to speak to our most staunch critics because uh, they are extremely helpful in helping us get in the right direction. So we will continue to do that, to interact with external actors, to interact with civil society organizations and experts around the world, to interact with intergovernmental organizations such as the United Nations, to make sure that we are in the right path, on the right path of holding Facebook accountable on its content moderation and also on lifting, um, you know, the lead on that very, on what was until very recently, a very opaque content moderation process. So I'm hopeful we are really in the right direction. And please read the report. There's so much to learn from it. And please help us in our mission. Uh, and we always welcome feedback from users, but also from organizations, including the yeah. Okay, Julia, I want, just before we let you go, there's something that really is important to me. I tried to do more work on your uh, oversight board, and you guys are very forthcoming, but one thing was very clear. When I was doing the work, it was not Facebook that I went to. I had to go individually to you. I want people to know your level of independence. I want to also uh, understand, Mark Zuckerberg did set this up. Mark Zuckerberg has told me personally how important your board is, what will happen? Are we going to see major changes? Because this is basically, if you want to do what you said, requiring Mark Zuckerberg to do some major changes ahead of definitely his launch, say, of the metaverse. Of course. Uh, we are a very agile organization. Uh, we do not react on hot takes. That's not interesting, I think, even for the general public and not even for the company. Rather, what we, take, what we do is we make principal decisions, we make principal recommendations that are strongly embedded into human rights conversations and principles. But in addition to that, we're also in the world in the 21st century. And so we have to be able to be agile and respond to the challenges that we might face in the mission that we're doing. One of those challenges is at the beginning in our bylaws, there was nothing about us tracking the impact of the work that we're doing and tracking the recommendations that we're making to the company. We have created an implementation working group on which I'm currently uh, sitting on, which is working on metrics to measure accurately how Facebook is implementing our recommendations when it says it would implement them, and also to continue to push the company, implement the recommendations that the company says it cannot implement. And I think that conversation is one of the most interesting ones and one of the most important learnings and takeaways that we can take from this big experiment and historical experiment that I'm really happy to